so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Wow, what an amazing day it is. It's so sunny. But hey, I don't know what I should do today. <gasps> I have an idea. <gasps> Look at this. Yeah, the Blippi Mobile! Wow, I sure have a lot of fun exploring with my Blippi Mobile, don't I? <laughs> Wait a second! I have something fun for you! <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! Cool! The Blippi Mobile! Wow, I love my Blippi Mobile! Isn't it great? Yeah! I have an idea. Why don't you and I take the Blippi Mobile for a spin and explore? Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Wow! I sure do love my Blippi Mobile. Hey, you want to see some of the parts? Whoa! All right, let me hop out. Whoa! First of all, check out these wheels and tires! Aren't they massive tires? Yeah, there's no tread on them, but that doesn't stop me from going off-road! Woohoo! And look at my wheels! Yeah, they're the color orange, one of my two favorite colors! Yeah, do you know what my other favorite color is? Yeah, blue! Whoa! Yeah, that's why it's blue and orange! Ooh, and look at this! Yeah! This is the Blippi Mobile's windshield. Yeah, just like how you might have a windshield on your vehicle at home. Yeah, I do as well. It keeps from all the bugs from getting in my face <laughs> while I'm going super fast. <laughs> all right. Whoa. And speaking of going super fast, every time I'm driving the Blippi Mobile, I make sure I buckle up. First things first, safety first. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Have you seen that my Blippi Mobile has attachments? Yeah! Ooh, like a rocket booster! Whoa! So cool! It allows me to go places anywhere and everywhere! Whoa! And look at those! Wow! Spider legs! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! It makes me able to crawl and go around go on top of rocks, go around things. Whoa! And look at those! Yeah! Wings! Whoa! They look like beautiful butterfly wings, don't they? Whoa! So then I can fly when I'm using the Blippi Mobile. Whoa! Well, I do love my Blippi Mobile. Well, shall we keep exploring? Let's go! Whoa, did you see this drawing of the Blippi Mobile? Yeah, you saw the two wheels and tires on this side, and the other side has wheels and tires for four total. Ooh, and the big bubble, the windshield. Ooh, and the blue and orange stripes on the back. Whoa, hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I paint the Blippi Mobile? I sure do love crafts. <laughs> All right, let's see here. If we open this one up, Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> there's some black in here. I know the can is orange, but there's black paint in here. So let's uh, give it a little swirl. And what is black on the Blippi Mobile? Do you see anything? Yeah, the big off-road tires. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's going to get messy. All right, there we go. Ooh, cool! <laughs> there we go! Wow! 
Good job. Those are some big tires. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Musical instruments. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, spray paint. All right. Hey, before I use any spray paint, I'm going to wear a respirator. Yeah, a mask. All right. Here we go. Yeah. And only adults should use spray paint. Okay, here we go. Let's start with the orange. Here we go. Let's see, what part is orange? Looks like a little bit of the chairs are orange. Yeah, and the two stripes. Okay, here we go. There we go, there's my chair. <laughs> All right, and then that stripe and that stripe. Whoa, this is looking really good. Okay, all we need now, oh, wait a second. Yeah, you're right. The wheels are also orange. <laughs> Can't put the orange away now. Wow, this is looking really great. Good job. Okay, let's put this one away. All right, and now for some blue. All right, let's see what's blue on it. Well, the rest of it's blue. I'm not gonna color this though. Yeah, because that is the windshield. All right, I'll start with the bottom right down here. Just a little bit left. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! We did such a great job! The Blippi Mobile looks amazing! I sure do love crafts and art! Woohoo! <laughs> Look at this house. Whoa, it's really white. And you know what it looks like? It looks like the White House. Yeah, the White House is where the President of the United States lives. Whoa, what a cool looking house. I sure do love exploring with you. Shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, the party station. Wow, this store is a place where you can buy party supplies. Yeah, like balloons. Whoa, streamers. <laughs> Confetti. Whoa, you also might be able to get a cake in there. Yum, I love cake. And party invitations. So you can invite all your friends. Yeah, cool store. All right, here we go. What else do we have around here? Oh, look! Yeah! <laughs> we know what this place is. Yeah, it says Adventure City. Yeah, I've been there before. That is a very fun amusement park in California. Yeah, they have some roller coasters, slides, yeah, and even some games. Woohoo! <laughs> here we go! been so much fun exploring with the Blippi Mobile? Yeah, it sure has been. Me, me, me. <laughs> Do you see that? Whoa, it looks like a train. Why don't we park the Blippi Mobile right here? Yeah, come back later. But in the meantime, take a ride on a train. Yeah. <laughs>
sure do love trains. Wow, it's great being able to sightsee. Oh yeah, speaking of sightseeing, yeah, the Blippi Mobile. Let me hop back in so then we can keep exploring. <laughs> Gotta buckle up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> What are these? Yeah, I know what these are. These are safety cones. Whoa, and I love the color. Orange, whoa, one of my two favorite colors. Whoa, safety cones are used, yeah, to place on the ground, like that, to let people know that there's something around here. Yeah, just so you don't hit it. Or you could also place a few of them. <laughs> yeah, like that. And then you can make an obstacle course. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, you can weave between them. Hey, I have an idea. Yeah, why don't we place all of these cones out in a straight line and weave with the Blippi Mobile between them. Yeah, hey, let's count them first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cones. All right, let's gather them up. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's place the first cone right here. Oh, I have an idea. Will you count them with me? <laughs> One, two, <laughs> three, four, Six! Six cones! Good job counting with me! All right, first, you need to buckle up. All right, here we go! Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! We got some of them, but we didn't get all of them. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we head back to the starting line and then space them out a little bit more and maybe that will help. Let's try it again. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's try this again. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Woohoo! Whoa! We're doing it! Oh! Whoa! This is a close one! Oh! Whoa! That was awesome! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Off-road capabilities! Wow! Isn't 
the Blippi Mobile awesome? <laughs> yeah! I sure did have a lot of fun learning with you today. Yeah, wasn't it fun going through that obstacle course, swerving between those cones? Yeah, and exploring and learning about the Blippi Mobile! Wow! <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. See you soon. Bye-bye. What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! Huh? You're right! The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? <laughs> Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamic. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I'm just out exploring today. Wow, what beautiful land this is. Hey, come on. Whoa, look at all this tall grass. I wonder what's on the other side. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah. Today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, and this looks like a secret go-kart track. Yeah! Oh, I sure do love go-karts! Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? Yeah! They're so fast! Grabbing that steering wheel, phew, round the corners, phew. This 
is gonna be fun. <laughs> I was just acting like I was driving a go-kart. Oh, speaking of go-karts, yeah, this thing is awesome. Hey, what color go-kart is this? Yeah, the main color of this go-kart is the color red. Yeah, I do like the color red. Hey, look at the number up here. Every go-kart has to have a number, so then you know when you cross the finish line, if you won. <laughs> and this number right here, what number is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this number is five. Wow, whoa, this is so cool. And do you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, they have some dirt and mud on them. Someone must have been racing this go-kart. Yeah, and actually, these tires, yeah, they're not normal tires, like on a car or a truck, how it has tread. These are nice and flat. Yeah, better for speed. <laughs> oh, hey, look. This is the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, there's so many parts. One way to turn it on is this. You pull it up, and then it gets the motor turning, and it turns it on. Provides the power so you can go fast. <laughs> Whoa, back here, look at this. This is a chain, and this is how the engine provides all the power to the rear wheels and tires. Whoa, I am so excited to ride this. Oh, speaking of riding it, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sit. This is the seat. Oh, it sure does look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo! And this is the steering wheel. Do you see when I turn the wheel, it turns the wheels and tires? Whoa, that looks fun. Oh, and last but not least, right up here. This is where you put your feet. Push down right here for the brake. And on the other side, this is for the gas. Speaking of gas, yeah, the engine needs gas. And right here, this is where you fill it up. Okay, it looks like we explored the whole go-kart, so it must be time to drive and race the go-kart. Oh geez, I am so excited, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second, I need all my safety gear. Three, two, one. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, my safety gear. Yeah, I have my helmet on, my goggles, my gloves, and that means I am ready to race. Yeah, you have to wear a helmet, so then it keeps your head nice and safe. You have to wear gloves, so then, you can hold on to the steering wheel nice and tight. And you wear, yeah, the goggles, so then dirt and mud doesn't flip in your face. Oh, here I go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the go-kart. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Make sure everything's turned on. And remember what I said earlier? We need to give it a pull. Here I go! This go-kart is the color black, and its number is five, eight, nine, whoa! Hey, who are you? Kylie. 
Kylie? Well, it looks like you're my competition. Are you ready to race? Yes. Woohoo! Looks like Kylie is ready. Oh, hey, another competitor. Oh, what's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? Whoa, are you ready to race? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Whoa, that sounds like some tough competition. All right, looks like Lincoln is ready. Looks like Kylie is ready. And me, Blippi, is ready to race. All right, let's start those engines. Fun out! Yeah, that was so much fun driving this go kart and racing this go kart. Oh, geez, this red go kart. Yeah, the red number five go kart did me so good today. We had a safe day riding go karts together. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? E-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, I should probably take another lap. <laughs> See you soon, bye-bye. Me, Flippy, and check out where we're at. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and guess what happens here? The world's largest single day sporting event. It's a really, really big race. The Indy 500. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to go inside and see all of those really fast race cars in real life. Hey, 
do you like to go really fast too? <laughs> Great! Me too! Well, let's go! And start your engines! to learn about so many different things, like race cars and racetracks, and what it takes to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Whoa, but do you know where we are right now? We're on the track. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited to be on the actual track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> Whoa, and there's so many cool things here. Come on. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> hey, do you know who that is? It's me. <laughs> they even have my name here. Wow, and look what's under me. A lot of seats. Yeah, this is a really big track, so they have lots of seats so they can have lots of people. 250,000 people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Wow, this place is so huge. <laughs> I bet a lot of people and a lot of cars will go here. <laughs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> this track is really big and really long. It's two and a half miles. Woo, <laughs> yeah, two and a half miles. And the drivers do 200 laps. Woo, that means 500 miles. Whoa, wait a minute. 500 miles in the 500? Oh, <laughs> that's why they call it that. <laughs> so silly. Wow, this is so cool. Can you see what's here? Yeah, look. They have different lines drawn on the ground because we're in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah. This is the part of the track where drivers get whoo. They can come to the side to get new tires or more gas and get ready to keep racing. Yeah. And each one of these boxes has a different car and team. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool here. Well, maybe if we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. <laughs> it's a real life race car. And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> hey, Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, hey Blippi. Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> you have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah. All right. Join in. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Flippy. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You Whoa. notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. Mm -hmm. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500 and we've got four every time we come in. What? $1,500? <laughs> that's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa, and this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah, we have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let oh. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Whoa. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how oh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down. And this is the clutch. So oh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. 
Um, and it's, it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna know paddles. what else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. Here's something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? You yeah. don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield. And it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that, so incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head, and as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> Wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a the pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Ooh, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. <laughs> Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and... Brad. Hey, nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet Blippi, you. So, Blippi, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Oh, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, take up a new tire, slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa, that was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Whoa, <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, help you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. <laughs> Gloves. Okay, first we want to put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. Okay. Whew. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. Whoa! <laughs> That's really heavy. <laughs> I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire, we put it on the race car. <laughs> now, we need to put the wheel nut back on the car. And here we go. Now, we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. <laughs> nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. What else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. 
you have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you want to make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all of those deep forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. So you want to make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up. Cool. And then push on the forehead and push, push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you, know, you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. So the steering wheel is very heavy, very it's very difficult to control the car, so you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are warmed yeah. up. So we'll Probably need really circles. strong arms too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Whoa. sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. yeah. Back. Whoa. You can make circles with us too! Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Try Thanks a lunge. Okay, yeah, here we good. go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. Love it. Ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Oh, there's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags and what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Flippy? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. And then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. The green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. But at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! And if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag. <laughs> that means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? Ooh, you would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. Okay, let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it the Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936 and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's lots of little faces. <laughs> they're right here. Wow, and they're from so many different years. Hey look, it has their name and the year that they won and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk when he got out of the race. <laughs> but we've, we've kept that as a tradition and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Whoa, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah, a tradition is something that has been done for a really long time and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> Sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk, as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind, but it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk. It's almost like you won the race. <gasps> it's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> Time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Here we go. Like a pro. Woo! 
excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing that you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. Whoa, whoa. I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner trophy, a miniature one. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful. It has wings on the side, <laughs> and it looks like it's made of actual real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Oh, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely, it was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> Wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> well, right now we're inside turn one at the garages and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> and look. Not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast, <laughs> running, <and> driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911, that's a long time ago. <laughs> You see, look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> Well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah. The color green and the color blue. <laughs> Dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me ride with you in a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. <gasps> Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> wow, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> hmm. I 
wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something! Whoa! That was really, really fast! <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again! I think it's time for us to ride! Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers. <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woohoo! Today we're at the Las Vegas Mini Grand Prix. Oh, and look at these. These are go karts. And this is a green go-kart. This is a red go-kart. And this is a blue go-kart. I am so excited! They're my two favorite colors. This go-kart 
is the color orange. And this go-kart, yeah, is the color blue. Time for me to teach you the parts of a go-kart. Oh hey, and look at this. Yeah, it's a go-kart. So the first thing on go-karts are all of them have four wheels and tires. See right here? This is a wheel and tire, and it's really small. <laughs> so cute. So this is the first wheel and tire. This is the second wheel and tire. This right here is the third wheel and tire. Ooh. And this is the last wheel and tire. It's the fourth wheel and tire. Whoa. Ooh, and look at this. Yeah. This, that's the bumper guard. It's there to keep you safe. So then you don't run and drive into things like this. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Whoa. Whoa! Look at this back here. This? Yeah, this is the spoiler. They put spoilers on go-karts and super fast cars because it creates some downforce and it adds about three million horsepower to the vehicle. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> Ooh, and look down here. This is the engine of the go-kart. It has an air filter, spark plug, muffler, oil, and so many other things. Well, how the engine gets all of its power is it needs some fuel. Just like how you and I need food, the go-kart needs food too. And right here, uh, uh, yeah, right here, is the gas tank. Whoa. I think you and I should fill it up and put in some gas in the go-kart. Let's put our safety glove on. Here we go. Wow. All right. Put the spout right here. Turn it up. Whoa. Whoa! All right. I think it's nice and full now. So let's put the cap back on. Oh yeah, nice and tight. Then we turn on the on switch right there. Then all you have to do is pull the string. Three, two, one. A little harder this time. Even a little harder this time. Yeah! the go-kart. This is where the driver, yeah, me, you, this is where we get to sit today. So, let's take a seat. Whoa, yeah, I kind of like this. Okay, but first things first, when operating a go-kart, yeah, safety first. Let's put on our seatbelt. Just like we're in a vehicle, any vehicle, you can wear a seatbelt.
so much fun! The cool thing about go-karts are there's so many different kinds, like the one we just rode, and then also these ones. Come look! <laughs> look at this! This go-kart is so small! <laughs> That's funny! Ooh, there's one up here for you and I to ride. Whoa, yeah, this green cart looks like a dandy. All right, we need to turn it on. So, you remember, you put on your glove, and then give it a pull. Yeah! Whoa! The cool thing about these small go-karts are anyone that's 38 inches or above can ride. Ooh! Whoa. And trust me, I'm above 38 inches. <laughs> so first things first. Yeah, safety first. Gotta put on your seatbelt. Oh, 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 oh. Nice and tight. All right, now the gas pedal. Here we go. Whoa! from the country of France. Ooh, and check that out down there. Yeah! This go-kart has LED headlights. And go to the back. And it even has tail lights. Do you see them? And when you push on the brake, yeah, it even has working brake lights. Whoa, this go-kart is so powerful, you need to be 16 years old and have a valid driver's license. <laughs> Lucky for me, I'm both. <laughs> yeah! So that means we can start it up. So let's flip on the switch and give it a pull. Whoa! This sounds like it has so much power too. So let's take a seat in the seat and let's put on our seat belt because it has so much power. Whoa, I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be so much fun. All right, are you ready? Here I go.
carts with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yeah, Blippi. Let's spell it together, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out! I'm gonna need monster truck wheels! Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Whoa. Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Oh. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. I nailed that! Megan, that was and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs>me, Flippy, <laughs> and today we're here at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. <laughs> and today we get to go to Monster Jam. <laughs> yeah, Monster Jam is an event with monster trucks. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a monster truck is? You do? Have you seen one before? <laughs> they are enormous. They are gigantic. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to see a monster truck. Oh, and maybe we can even meet the driver. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool, seeing them race and jump off ramps and maybe even do a flip. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to see a Monster Jam monster truck up close.
house. <laughs> I've been driving around in my flippy mobile all day trying to find one. Hmm. Do you see a monster truck anywhere around here? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! It's a monster truck! <laughs> Whoa! It's so big! <laughs> no way! And look at who it is! Hey, what's up, Blippi? <laughs> hey! It's professional Monster Jam driver, Barry Musauer! <laughs> Whoa, it's what's so up? good to see you! <laughs> it's great to be here, man. Whoa, and look at this! This monster truck is huge! <laughs> is this a Monster Jam monster truck? This is. This is Grave Digger, but this is a special Grave Digger because it actually can take passengers for a ride in a real Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa! No way! Did you hear that? You can go for a ride in this monster truck! Oh, that sounds so fun! <laughs> oh, and Bari, is this your monster truck? No, my monster truck's actually inside. It's called Zombie, and it's got zombie arms on it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> can we take a closer look at your monster truck? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Oh, wait a minute. We can go there on the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> Would you like to take a ride with me? I would love to go in the Blippi Mobile. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! It's zombie! <laughs> awesome! Can we take a closer look? Yeah, come on, check it out! Whoa! What's your favorite thing about driving in a monster truck? Oh, aside from meeting all the great Monster Jam fans, I love doing donuts. Ooh, a donut? Is that when you drive around in a circle? Whoa! Yep, and I also <laughs> like to eat donuts, too. Ooh, I like to eat donuts, too. <laughs> They're so yummy! Do you like to eat donuts, too? Yum! <laughs> Whoa! And this thing is so big! Yeah. Whoa, check it out! These wheels, they're enormous. These tires are 66 inches tall, and they are 43 inches wide, and they weigh 650 pounds. 650 <laughs> pounds? Oh! Yeah. Whoa, those are so big, so tall, and so heavy. Whoa, and what's this? This is the engine. This is a 540 cubic inch Merlin racing engine, and it runs on methanol for fuel, and man, is it powerful. Whoa, methanol? Hmm. So it doesn't use gasoline? Nope, methanol, it burns clean, and it gives us a whole lot of horsepower. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of horsepower, and a lot of horses. <laughs> Ooh, well, what are these right here? Those are the shocks. You wanna come check those out? Get a closer look? <laughs> okay, let's go take a closer look at the shocks. All okay, right. I'll see you around the back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at how tall Zombie is. Whoa, <laughs> it's taller than us. <laughs> And these right here, are those the shocks? These are the shocks. They have 30 inches of travel in the back, 26 inches of travel in the front. That's how we absorb those huge, big air jumps. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, a truck like this has shocks. So if it takes a really big jump, <laughs> you can land nice and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and what's this right here? This is the wheelie bar, man. This is for when I'm doing those really cool slap wheelies and I get to drag this thing in the dirt and it keeps me from tipping over. <laughs> well, that's really important. You don't want to tip over your Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, and this box, is that where the fuel goes? That is where the fuel goes. Well, this is a pretty cool truck. You think you could show us how to drive it? Yeah, let me show you how to get in. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Whoa! So excited because you and I get to go in the Monster Jam truck. <laughs> yeah. But first, I ask permission from Bart. That's why I can climb up. And second, I'm not going to drive it. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> I'm not a professional. Yeah. And I'm going to be nice and safe. Okay. Time to climb up into zombie. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. I'm so high up! <laughs> this is awesome! Well, it must be really fun driving a Monster Jam truck! <laughs> this is pretty amazing! <laughs> the arms! The arms! <laughs> hey, check it out! Zombie arms! Will you do some zombie arms with us? 
<laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. Bari's <laughs> 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 gonna ride zombie. <laughs> Hi, Bari. Hey, Flippy, what's up, man? Whoa, what are you wearing? Man, this is my racing suit. Mine's decorated in zombie. Whoa, that is so cool. You see it? Yeah, he has a zombie racing suit, but why do you need to wear a racing suit? Well, you have to be safe. When it's time to race these trucks, safety is number one. Mm -hmm. And look, I got you your very own jacket, too. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Let's put them on. Whoa, it's an official Monster Jam racing jacket! <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This makes you really official, man. Whoa. Zip that thing right up. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, check it out. It even has a zipper. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. You're going to be safe just like me. Awesome. Well, you get in the truck and we're going to watch you someplace really safe. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll get in. But wait. There's one more thing that I got to have you wear to make sure you're really super safe, okay? <gasps> Check this out. <gasps> Your very own Monster Jam Blippi helmet. <laughs> wow! Check it out! It's a Monster Jam Blippi helmet. <gasps> this is the best day ever! <laughs> Woo! This is awesome! <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. All right, bud. <laughs> Woo! See ya! <laughs> in the truck, I have my blippy helmet, <laughs> and we're ready to race. <laughs> See you soon. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Do you hear that? The engine is so loud! <laughs> Blippi, let's see what the Blippi Mobile's got. Whoa! Check it out! Oh yeah, let's Whoa! see. <laughs> Woo! 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 So loud. 
Better cover your ears. Monster trucks have great big tires that crush the cars they land on. Monster trucks can jump so high, I wonder if they can jump over the moon. Sing along with us! Monster trucks have great big tires that crush the cars they land on. Monster trucks can jump so high, I wonder if they can jump over the moon. Oh, monster trucks in the air. Oh, monster trucks in the dirt. Oh, can you hear their engines are going so loud? Better cover your ears. Do you love monster trucks? <laughs> yeah, I love them too. So big and so cool! Hey, let's sing it again! Oh, monster trucks in the air. Oh, monster trucks in the dirt. Oh, can you hear their engines are going so loud? Better cover your ears. Monster trucks are the coolest thing ever! That was so cool seeing you drive zombie so fast. <laughs> oh man, thanks for coming out, Blippi. That was so much fun to show you zombie. Thanks for showing me the Blippi mobile. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, it was a blast learning so much from you all about Monster Jam, and it was really nice learning from a great driver. <laughs> I can't wait to do it all over again. But before you go, take your helmet with you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> you don't want to forget this. <laughs> thanks, Barry. I'll see you soon. All right, dude. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome being here today at Monster Jam. We saw some pretty cool trucks that were so big and so loud. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Hey, look at what I just rode up in. Yeah, it's a police car. And today, we are going to learn about police cars. What it is? It's a police car. Will you come check out the parts of the police car with me? Yeah, come on. Ooh, look at this light bar up here. There's the red lights and the blue lights over there. And speaking of lights, whoa, look at the spotlight. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! It's so bright! <laughs> Ooh! And the front of the police car has this push bar. This is used to help push vehicles off to the side of the road that are broken down. And then down here, this is a speaker. Listen! You there, clear the road. <laughs> That was awesome! Ooh! And one of my favorite parts, the engine. This is where the car gets all of its power from. Ooh! And the oil. Will you check it with me? <laughs> Allergy season. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look. Yeah. The oil looks good to me. So let's put the dipstick back and let's shut the hood and let's head to the back. Ooh, look down here. The wheels and the tires. Oh, and look right here. Two words. The first word is Olympia. O-L-Y-M-P-I-A. And the second word is police. P-O-L-I-C-E. Olympia police. And last but not least, the trunk. There's some cool stuff back here. Whoa. Road flares. Ooh, a speed gun and some cones, even some caution tape. I'll show you this stuff later. But for now, it's time to dance. Inside the police vehicle with me? Yeah, come on! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! 
Now we're inside the vehicle. Look at this. Look at the switch. Do you see it? I'm going to push it all the way to the right. And those are the lights. Look. Whoa. Those are so bright. <laughs> okay. I'll turn them off now. Okay, I turn those off. And look at this. See? I just turned that on. That's the spotlight. Do you see it? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's turn that off. And what else is in here? <laughs> Whoa! The steering wheel! Whoa! <laughs> The intercom. Hello, hello! I see you, it's Blippi! <laughs> That's funny. And, oh, speaking of noise and sound, look at this. This right here, this button, listen. <laughs> yeah, that's the siren! Ooh, and the computer. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! That is so cool! It's the Blippi Police Car Song! Okay, and uh, I have some more fun stuff to show you over here. Come on, shut the door. in here. This is the patrol bag. There's so many cool gadgets and goodies in here. Whoa, like binoculars. Whoa, I can see so far. Whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, put those down there. Ooh, stuffed rhino. <laughs> A camera. <laughs> um. Ooh, flashlight. Hello, hello. So you can see in the dark. Whoa. First aid kit. Ooh. And handcuffs. So cool. <laughs> I like handcuffs. Okay, let's try it on. Put it on. Oh, now that you have handcuffs on, you can't get them off. Ah, ah. But luckily, whoa, I have a set of handcuff keys. Put that right there. Do a little twisty. And then I got them off. It's like magic. Okay, let's put these back. Ooh. And last but not least, every police officer has to have a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Now I'm a police officer. <laughs> okay, check out this. This is where you put the suspects. Whoa! The door doesn't even have a handle on it. And the seats are plastic and really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like being back here. <laughs> and no handles are like child safety locks, but for adults. <laughs> hey, this is a speed measuring device. It uses a laser to bounce off a car and come back. And it'll tell me how fast someone's going. We're out here on a street corner looking for speeders. There's one now. going way too fast. Let's go get him. Well, hello there, officer. 
Sir, I need to talk to you about your speeding. Ooh, I'm sorry. What can I say? Heavy foot. <laughs> well, I'll give you a warning for today, but okay. we're just out here trying to keep everybody safe. All right, thank you. Speaking of that, Ooh. we're looking for this person. Have you happened to seen him? Oh, nope. That gentleman looks like he's wearing glasses. I sure don't. Oh, you're right. Well, let me give you this. Call okay. us if you see him. Okay. Drive safe. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> Let's look at what's inside the back of the police car a little bit better. Hmm. Woo. Look. We have a police officer's hat. <laughs> and, yeah, a safety vest. Oh, and it's bright yellow. Look at it. Wow. Okay. Nice bright yellow safety vest. <laughs> How do I look? Okay. Oh, and I got my hat on. And oh, look. Four orange road cones. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, and look. A road flare. Wow! Put that in my pocket. <laughs> and road spikes. Okay, set those down. Let's close the trunk. Okay, first things first. Ooh, road spikes. Take a close look at these. Wow! Look at that. Whoa, those are sharp. Okay, let's put this right there. Put this over here. <laughs> okay, ready? Watch this. Okay, we're gonna set up this traffic course for the police car and the police car is gonna make sure it doesn't drive on these because these are really sharp. Take the four road cones and put one right here. Come on. <laughs> and let's put the second one right there. One, two. And let's put the third one right here. One, two, three. And we got one more. Come on! Okay, how about right here? Ready? Yeah! One, two, three, four! Oh, I almost forgot my favorite part, the road flare. Whoa! Okay, this is not a toy, not for kids. So here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's put it down right here and let's start this course. Barely missed the spikes! <laughs> Good job! That was so much fun learning about police vehicles! Now it's time for the police car song! The 
let them buy Police cars Police cars Police cars Yeah, they come in all shapes and sizes There's a radio and a computer inside there a dog to help them sniff out cry Sometimes you need the help of a canine Dial 911 And the police will come Driving in there That was really fun singing, dancing, <laughs> to the police car song with you. Hey, I have something really important to tell you. You are very special. You are an amazing child. I am so excited to see what great things you do on our planet by making it a better place and helping people out. Last but not least, thanks for being my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I gotta go now. But if you want to hang out with me some more, you know how to find me. Yeah, just search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job! See you soon! Bye! Hey! It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <coughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies! Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder. Why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush! Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! 
Oh, was that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, bit me. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Whoa! Look at what it is! It's a Heart Public Transportation Bus! Yeah! Are you ready to learn about buses with me? Yeah, let's go! Now, let's check out the inside of the bus. Come on. Whoa, here we go. Wow, look, this is where the bus driver sits. Whoa, I'll show you more of this area later. But first, let's go check out the back of the bus. Yeah, whoa, there's so many seats you can sit in. Like this one right here. <laughs> or this one. <laughs> or even this one. <laughs> Whoa! 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 What's this? Whoa! It's really bright out there. This is a second door. There's a back door and a front door. That's really cool. Oh, and look, these are handles for when all the seats are taken up. You, you gotta stand, but you have to hold on to something really tight. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, okay, one last thing before I show you the driver's seat. Come here, okay, this, this lets the bus driver know that your stop is near. Listen. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna show you where the bus driver sits. Whoa. Bus driver Blippi, bus driver Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. I'll get you a ticket right here. <laughs> Here's your ticket. Whoa. Heart. Okay, I'll swipe it for you. All right, you're ready to go. But first, everyone, take your seat. Take your seat, everyone. <laughs> we are gonna have some fun times on this bus ride. Wow, this is so cool. Whoa, what's this do? Do you know what this does? <laughs> this is the horn of the bus. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna shut the door with this. Watch. Okay. Shut the door, shut the door. <laughs> That's so great. Go on and take a seat, partner.
really big! Whoa! We are at a maintenance shop of the buses! Oh, come here! Look at all these cool gadgets! Like this hose clamp. Oh, that's cool. And then, whoa, a really big bolt. Wow. And a smaller bolt with a nut and some washers on it. <laughs> There's so many cool things right here. Let me show you some more great things at this maintenance shop. Whoa. all the maintenance records of all the buses. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do some maintenance on a bus. Let's go. Okay, here we are. This is the back of the bus. This is where the engine is. Whoa, there's big belts and the engine. And look right here. This is where you check the oil. Yep, you knew that already. Let's check the oil. Pull out the dipstick, wipe it off, put the dipstick back in, Check the level, looks full to me. So, I think we are ready to take the bus for a spin. Let's go. Now it's time for a bus ride. You wanna go on a bus ride? Yeah, let's go. Look, here we, oh no, the door just shut. Oh, oh no, oh no, they're leaving without us. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 don't leave me. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait. Oh, it stopped! Come on! Jeez! Oh. Oh, we were late for the bus! Okay, that's one reason why you always need to be on time for the bus. Come on! Take a seat! We made it! That was a close one. Whoa, look! This is so cool. There's a place in town where you need to go. Back to your home or the store that's down the road. Get on the bus and it will take you there. Riding through the town, going everywhere. Just one ticket is all you need. But don't forget to let the driver see Take a bus to work, a bus to a friend You can even take it to another land so let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus, ride the bus. Ride the bus. There's a yellow the bus. Let's all ride the bus. You can catch a bus where you see this sign. It's a bus stop and there you wait for your ride. But let the others get off before you take your seat. And then you say to the driver, one ticket please. Listen to the driver call out each stop. Press the bell when it's yours and it will drop you off. Take the bus to work. A bus to a friend You can even take it to another land so Let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus Let's
let's all ride the bus There's a yellow bus that goes to school There's a blue and a green and a red bus too Let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus And the let's all round ride the bus and round and round And the let's all ride the bus massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo. I think it is helping build the building. Hmm, I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea. We'll go talk to the crane. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs. Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning. But I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness! Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. It's me, Blippi! And look at what's behind me! Whoa! This is a snowmobile. And this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna learn about snowmobiles! Yeah! Got to ask you, what colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah, I see the color red, black, white, and hey, look down here. There's some silver. <laughs> 
Come back here. Wow. Look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown. And what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow. <laughs> but it's so cold. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! This snowmobile is so powerful. Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah, the engine. Whoa, check that out. Looks like we have, oh, this looks like maybe the engine oil. Whoa, that's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh. And look at this. This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa, and look down here. This snowmobile has two skis. One right here and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa, looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake, and we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power, all in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow, this is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Whoa. That helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! This has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go.
look at what we found. Yeah, we found a river. Whoa, this has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish. Whoa, I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold. <laughs> Woohoo! Check out this yellow vehicle! Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out! Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, the Jeep also has tracks! It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. Snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. Bye-bye! It'll make you